Hello, hello. Let's get right into this, shall we? Because I am wearing a bathrobe and I've never made a video wearing a bathrobe. Obviously, this is intentional. And so welcome. I am going to be sharing some thoughts about my experiences with healing after trauma and using fashion. So hence the bathrobe. Maybe like, Beth, how is this fashion? It's a bathrobe. <laughs> I'm gonna share in a moment. But first, I do want to introduce myself for those of you who are just getting familiar with this channel or just popping in. Hello and welcome, my name is Beth and I am a breakthrough coach, which means that I help my clients to elevate their lives after trauma or heartbreak so that they can map out new success stories, have happier relationships, healthier relationships, and just overall thrive. So, yes, the bathroom. Let's talk about it. So, this bathroom was a gift to me years and years ago from my cousin's mother in law. And I wish you could feel it, but I'll put it up close to the camera. It is super soft, it is like cotton, fluffy, float on a cloud, pillowy soft. Um, and so I don't typically wear bathrobes because <laughs> the sleeves and everything, and I just never find them practical. They kind of like get in my way. Um, so this bathrobe sat in my closet for quite a few years, and then I had something happen that was a bit traumatic. What happened was I had a situation come up where my job, I was not allowed to go to work anymore due to some discrimination. That's another story for another day. Nevertheless, I found myself without work and uh, due to discrimination. So one thing that I did for the first three months after being let go, I was a teacher for 20 years, so I was let go from um, my teaching position. And so that was October of 2021. And my best friend who lives upstate said, hey, there's this district and they're hiring a temporary ESL teacher. You should look into it. So I submitted the application. And this was like up in New York, very close to the Danbury border, like Connecticut border near Danbury. Um, I'm just not giving the exact, you know, um, I'm just not, I don't really think it's important to give the exact name of that school or the district. Anyway, I went from a position where I loved my colleagues, where I loved my students, and um, where I was in a place that I really wanted to be teaching high school and I was in urban education. You know, I was right in the middle of Brooklyn and I loved it in that sense to teaching in the suburbs. And I had the other ESL teacher, it was in middle school. She was not nice to me. She was just not a nice person. I don't know that it wasn't that actually she wasn't a nice person, but I think she was just really overworked and overwhelmed. And because she was so overworked and overwhelmed, she was just not nice to be around. <laughs> the kids were fine, but it was not really my ideal place at all. So I'm grieving uh, having to shift out of, you know, a space that suited me to a space that I didn't really want to be in and really didn't suit me. And so it was very hard. And now I'm supposed to actually only do this job for six weeks. <laughs> it was really a temporary position, but it ended up being three months. So it was for like most of October through December of 2021, um, the end right up to Christmas break. Well, I live in Brooklyn. That was too long of a commute. So it was staying in Airbnbs during the weekday and on the weekends. I was coming back to Brooklyn. It was very tough. So 
here's my point. This is where the bathrobe came in. <laughs> I started wearing this bathrobe. I would come home from that substitute position. Well, when I say come home, I would come home to the Airbnb that I was staying in and I would put on this bathrobe. And then I would get on my laptop and I would mind my business. I would do everything that was in my control and power to continue working on growing my business because I knew at the end of that particular position, I was most likely just going to be on my own for figuring out how to earn income. Um, but what I did do was I wore this bathrobe every night and it was comforting. So see, a lot of times what happens when we go through something traumatic, the trauma is actually stored in our muscle memories. We have certain responses in our bodies. Now, to be clear, very, very clear, I am a breakthrough coach. I am a coach, okay? Not a psychiatrist, not a neuroscientist or any of that, okay? So I'm teaching based on my own experiences and you know my own research that I've done, but I am literally only a coach. <laughs> so. Uh, just to be clear, very clear. I like to really make that clear to people so they don't think that I'm a psychiatrist and giving official anything. Um, this is coaching. So here I am, um, very stressful, right? Because now how is the income going to continue being consistent and steady? as well as the grieving process, as well as being an environment I don't like, right? So there's all sorts of things with my hormones, right? Stress hormones bring out the cortisol and everything. I was determined this was not going to be me. I was not going to get sick over it. I was going to do my best and I was going to find the things that would make me happy and bring that stress down. And fashion, <laughs> in the sense of a bathrobe, was one of those things. So this is what this video is about. If you are someone who's gone through something traumatic, you want to find different ways where you can connect with your body because the trauma is stored in your body. It's muscle memory. There's always like some sort of physical reaction that you go through, whether it's like an increased heart rate when you get a phone call or when you get an email or when you get a notification for whatever it is. In my case, it was like, okay, you're done um, with your employment time with us. Um, so, you know, there's certain reactions and how to reconnect with our bodies and bring those reactions so that we're not like living in a constant state of heightened anxiety or stress because that long term is not good for us that those types of things can lead to like high blood pressure heart disease cancers um depression different things that are not great for our health so using fashion and wearing things that are comfortable to your body, that are soothing to your body, that when they touch your skin, they relax you. Uh, I'm going to share another tip of something that I did. This was after um, I went through, this was back in 2016. I had been sexually assaulted by someone who I had been in a situationship, you know, semi-dating um, relationship with. And when I ended that relationship with him, his way of taking control of the situation was to um, assault me sexually. So, and then there were some other things as well. That was also a lot of trauma that was in my body, like a lot of real deep anger even with myself um and so there were different tools that I share as a breakthrough coach you know and through my workshops my uh forgiveness journal that I've published 20 day forgiveness journal my actual coaching program there are different tools that I teach you know clients on how to reconnect with their bodies and one thing is through fashion so I called my closet 
um, in my healing process after um, going through that sexual assault. Not immediately. Um, this was like almost maybe two years later when I actually went and called my closet. Maybe a year and a half. No, probably closer to two years later. Um, but I went through my closet and I eliminated all items of things that had um, bad memories associated with them. Not even necessarily in the terms of the situation that had happened with the sexual assault, but just in general. You know, sometimes you keep clothes for 10, 20 years. Sometimes, you know, whatever. I have a dress in my closet from high school, um, a black and white polka dot dress. And I still wear it every once in a while. The thing is so old, but it still looks great. Um, so, you know, we sometimes have things from various seasons in our life. And so I went through my closet and first got rid of everything that was associated with um, a not good memory. And then after that, I went through the pieces that I had left and looked at the fabrics, the materials. How did they feel when they touched my skin? Okay, so like my cashmere sweaters. Those I kept because they felt comfortable when I put them on, right? That's soft. Um, the types of skirts, types of jeans, even like the type of material, right? For a pair of jeans. Sometimes the fabric for a pair of jeans is a little bit scratchy or stiffer. To me, that's not comfortable. To you, to many people, that may be comfortable. But for me, it's not comfortable to wear on my body. So I got rid of anything that didn't fit in a way that moved with me, that I enjoyed wearing, that felt good when it touched my skin, that helped me want to be in that outfit. And so this is something that is one of the actual tools in my program, in my coaching program, um, you know, map, actually when I help people to map out new life success stories has a very specific meaning. It has to do with our mindset, our heart, our spiritual life, and our physical life. And, you know, healing in all of those areas. And this is actually one of the tools in my physical life transformation program that I teach is calling the closet and looking and going through keep the bathrobe. If wearing the bathrobe for you <laughs> or whatever it is, when you get home from work, putting it on and just being cozy while you go about all of your other tasks, the cooking or, you know, whether you're working on your business or, you know, um, talking with your family, whatever it is. And even if it's like kind of silly and people would be like, okay, it's, you know, 430, <laughs> why are you wearing a bathroom? You may not want to do it forever and ever and ever, right? I don't wear my bathrobe when I come home anymore because that's the, that point, those three months in my life are over, right? I don't need to have something to comfort me after a miserable day. I'm not grieving the loss of, you know, a job due to discrimination anymore, right? The, that that trauma has been you know worked through and healed but part of that healing process was using fashion and so for three months I wore my bathroom then <laughs> so now I'm wearing it for you I do wear it still sometimes after a bad day um but you know what I'm saying like if putting on a bathrobe or fuzzy slippers or something and being that way at four o'clock in the afternoon and your family looking at you a little weird, like it's not time for bed yet. You don't even have to say anything, but just know that you're comfortable and you're reconnecting with your body and you're you're calming yourself, calling your closet, getting rid of those things that don't feel good, you don't feel comfortable in. If you don't feel comfortable in it, and don't even keep it. A lot of times people keep it because they'll say, oh, like I may want to come back to this or you know, maybe in a year or so, just why are we holding on to things? Why are we holding on to things that don't actually promote us to feel comfortable? And when we're comfortable, right? When we're wearing a dress or a skirt or a shirt or whatever it is, right? A blouse, even like blouses. 
I love a good cotton blouse, but not all cotton blouses are the same, right? Some white cotton blouses are kind of like scratchy. It's not like the type of material I'm gonna be wearing because I'm not comfortable in it. Like the way the cut is, the way the, the material is made, all of that, right? Um, and there has been research done even uh, where these diff there's different types of materials. I'd have to pull it up because I don't want to quote the wrong things, but there are certain types of fabrics that actually can create alkaline states in our body. Um, and a lot of like blends, like nylons, a lot of the synthetic fabrics, um, tend to do the opposite. Um, this was an article I'd read. I don't know where the article went. I'll have to see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'll link it in the comments or in the description below this, this video. But yeah, so it's very important what we wear because the fabrics and the clothing really really can be part of our healing process, part of, you know, reconnecting with ourselves, part of calming our nerves, soothing ourselves. And um, it's a tool. It's not the only way to heal, um, but it is a very key tool to healing, feeling confident again, because when we're comfortable, we're confident. We feel better about ourselves. And a lot of times after a traumatic event, we don't feel so good about ourselves because a lot of times we feel ashamed about it for different reasons, but there's a lot of shame and embarrassment and fear that comes from it. And so, uh, yes, even this necklace. So this is my necklace. I This is a purchase that I made, oh gosh, probably when I was like 18. Um, and lo and behold, my mom's sister, my aunt, she had very similar taste to me. And so I was visiting them, they lived in New Jersey, I lived in central New York, but I was visiting them for like a week in the summer. My cousin and I went shopping in Princeton at this store called Village Silver. And I picked out this necklace and as I'm purchasing it, my cousin looks at me and she's like, you know, Beth, you just picked out the exact same necklace that my mom has at home. And I was like, it's the exact same one? Yes, it was the exact same one. So when I wear this necklace, right, it reminds me of my aunt who was really special and I had, you know, a lot of affection and love for. She's no longer with us. She passed um, years ago um, from breast cancer. But right when I when I wear it, it reminds me of like how my aunt who was really cool and I had a uh, similar taste, uh, very similar taste. It's so funny. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, a good memory type necklace, you know, so the, the, this is like, you know, you want to keep the things and you want to use in fashion, the things that are going to give you happy memories that are going to be comfortable and everything to, for you. Um, I'll give another example. Like today I had a meeting and it was not like a exciting meeting. I wasn't really excited about it, but it was a meeting that while it was a very hard meeting to take, it was a very necessary meeting. I wore a blazer that a really dear friend of mine gave me um, last year for my birthday. Why? Because I was going into a meeting that was challenging, that was difficult for me. And I wanted to have just like a reminder that like, even though in this moment, it's not, it's not my favorite life moment, I'm wearing something that someone who loves me gave me. And it was, again, like a, a comfort and a confidence, right? And so use fashion. Fashion is not something that uh, should become your identity, but it is something that can express your identity, that can express and help you to heal from a traumatic experience. So that's what I wanted to share with you all today. And yes. I will be back with another video in the near future. All right, so peace.